2011, back at Daytona for test days. We started this trip uh, three days ago uh, from Boston, went down to Roebling Road and shook the cars down, all three of the cars. Had uh, some inclement weather there. It was uh, kind of drizzly and rainy and it was actually cold, thus the winter jacket. I'm actually wearing a winter jacket in, the, in Daytona, which shouldn't be happening. I thought this place was supposed to be warm. and but. Uh, it was, uh, it was a good day today. Things went smoother than expected because all three of our cars, as, as you saw from the videos before, were, were torn down to their chassis and, and rebuilt, basically. So it's kind of a, a testament to the team as far as how, how good these guys are, that they can rebuild these cars and, and not really have any problems with them. Uh, I think the uh, GT car was fastest uh, today, overall, of, in GT. Uh, which was a surprise to us. Uh, I don't know if everybody else has their cars turned up all the way, but we were, you know, we were going for it. We want to see what this car can do, and we want to know what we have to do, uh, if anything, to keep up with everybody else. And likewise, the GS cars were struggling a little bit with that, with with grip, with some handling issues. Uh, but the cars are running good, and everything's working fine. And we've got two more days to see what we can, see what headway we can make, because we want to put those at the top of the charts as well. Yeah, you know, um, this year we were allowed in GS to use a different shock. So instead of the Coney's, uh, this year you can use either a Coney or an AST shock. So we decided to go AST to give, them a, give it a try because we know what the Coney's were like. And although they're different, uh, I don't really have an opinion like if they're better or not. Um, but they're different, they're a little bit easier to adjust. At Roebling in the rain, it was nice because we could make some more uh, quicker adjustments to, to depending on the track conditions. Um, here, they repaved the track, so it's so smooth. Uh, you know, the shocks don't do as much, so they're not a, as an integral part of the, of the setup. Um, but overall, we're uh, we're happy with uh, how it's going. Tomorrow, hopefully, the weather will be the same as today. It was a, a little bit cool. I think it was in the high, mid to high 60s. It was windy today, though, which kind of skewed things. Um, kind of headwind on the straightaway, and this is a long straightaway here. Um, if the conditions are the same, what we'd like to see is the difference. Of, you know, we're going to make some changes tonight. We're going to change some differential parts around and stuff. Uh, the guys from OS Geekin are here, and they're going to come and, uh, and change some stuff around tonight, and we'll get it in the car for the, for the practice session in the morning. If conditions stay the same, we're really working on differential stuff uh, for the most part of tomorrow. At Roebling Road, we only had one driver. We just had Bill Oberlin in the car. So it was kind of a, uh, a surprise to the other drivers as far as what the car was going to feel like or how it was going to be. I think the biggest thing they noticed is that we took care of the heat issue. Um, this car is, we had a, we spent a lot of time addressing the heat issue. So this car is now is going to be, it's going to be very nice for the drivers. And I think they noticed that right away. Um, other than that, um, again, we had a really smooth running day today. Uh, Bill shook the car down at Roebling and we put a setup on it. We brought that setup here and it worked quite well. Uh, a little fine tuning and all the drivers were happy. You know, we got some stuff to work on. I mean, seat position, um, some of the shifting, some of the brake bias stuff, some of the, the dash lights. We got, we, got a, we got a tweak. But other than that, I mean, we're, they were happy. We're ready to go.